So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So today I just received the Roku Voice Remote Pro 2nd Edition. So we're going to go ahead, open it up, take a look at it, point out some features, and then we'll go ahead and see how it works on my Roku Premiere. Stay tuned, it's time for streaming. So hi everybody and thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. So today we're going to be taking a look at the new Roku Voice Remote Pro 2nd Edition. See what it's all about. Check out some of its functions. And we'll see how it really works. So right next to the box that I have is my Roku Premiere Remote. So we're just going to go ahead and compare some of the different features or buttons that they might have added on or taken away. Stay tuned. We'll go ahead. We'll unbox it. We'll be right back. So once we take the remote out of the box, you go ahead and you see it got a quick setup guide. You got your USB-C adapter, so that way we could go ahead and charge the remote. That's one big thing that everybody was talking about, that they went away from the micro USB, and now they're doing USB-C. And to the right of that, you can see that's my Roku Premiere remote. So you see there is some differences in the buttons that are on the remote. So starting from the top, you see you got your power button, you got your back button, the home button, your okay button is still there, directional pad is still the same, rewind, you have your microphone, then you have the star button, so that way you have a couple of different options on things that you wanna do. And you have, of course, your other buttons to play, pause, fast forward, rewind. Now what you see is you have a guide button. This has been added. A rocket ship has been added, where the Roku Premiere don't have a guide or the rocket ship. You have the Netflix button, but they changed it from a white background with red lettering to the black background with red lettering. Stands out a little bit more. You still have your Apple TV. Then we have Paramount Plus, which they both have that. They went from the blue background with white lettering to the black with blue lettering. And then, of course, you have... HBO Max, where the other one had Disney. So they took away Disney and they added the HBO Max. Now, as you can see, the buttons on the side of the remote are still the same. If you turn it over from the right to the left, the buttons are still the same. On the new remote, you have a voice button here, so you can turn it on and then you can turn it off if you don't want to use it. So with the new Roku Voice Remote Pro 2nd Edition, this is what they're telling us that it has. Longer lasting rechargeable battery, saying that it lasts up to 50% longer than the other voice remote pro. A single charge lasts up to three months. Hopefully it does with all that backlight happening. Touch activated backlit buttons, hands-free and push to talk voice controls. Voice activated lost remote finder, which is pretty good. If you keep losing your remote and you don't know where it is, hopefully this helps out. TV power, volume, and mute buttons. Live TV guide and quick launch shortcuts. And also that rocket ship that we'll talk about in a little while. So let's go ahead now. Let's pair this to my Roku Premiere and let's see how it works. So now to pair the new remote, they want me to hold the back button and the home button at the same time for about five seconds. And then it should go ahead and pair. I'm going to do that now and we'll come right back. So now that the remote is paired, it did pair right away within the five seconds like they're saying, and it comes up now with a screen that says voice consent. Hands-free voice is easy. When the voice switches on and you say, hey Roku, the remote will listen and collect data. When the switch is off, the remote will not listen and will not collect any data. So here you could go ahead and just click on I understand, so that way you can start using the remote. After you click on I understand, just go ahead, it drops down, and click on continue. So once you hit continue, it comes up to the next screen and says, hands-free tips. So with the tips, it says, speak toward with the remote, not the TV. Make sure the remote is nearby and reduce any type of background noise. Try saying, hey Roku, what time is it? Right now it's showing that it's listening. And hopefully it does give us the time 
which it does right at the bottom of the screen. So that's pretty cool. Not bad at all. Another thing you may want it to do is say, hey, Roku, play the hands-free tips video. And the video will come up and start to play and show you some of the hands-free tips that you can use with the new remote. If you want to do that, you can. Otherwise, just go ahead, click on that OK button on your remote, and let's click on Finish, and it brings us right back to our home screen of our Roku. Some things you could go ahead and tell your Roku is, hey, Roku, open up Netflix. Give it a second. It's listening. It's thinking. It's going to open up Netflix right away for you. You got to remember, it's going to open up official apps. It will not open up any type of third-party apps at all. Just keep that in mind. But still, this is pretty good. The remote be sitting down on the table. You don't even have to touch it. You just go ahead and ask it to open up your favorite channel that you want. Some other things you could go ahead and ask your Roku is, Hey, Roku, what's my battery percentage? Give it a few seconds. It's listening. It brings it right up. It tells me what my battery percentage is. I still have a long time before I have to go ahead and recharge my batteries on my new device. One thing that's really cool that you could go ahead and ask your Roku remote while sitting on the table or next to you, you could just say, hey Roku, open this old house. Give that a few seconds and it's thinking about it. Here it comes, it's bringing it up onto the Roku channel, opens up your live TV on the Roku channel and it brings you right into this old house. Pretty cool feature, not bad at all. Now there is a guide button that's on the remote. Let's go ahead and press it one time. Changes live TV, the Roku channel. Going to go ahead and bring it to the last channel that you viewed. I was ABC Live News, so that works out pretty cool. What I gotta do is tell it to go ahead, open it up, and it brings me right into it. Backlit buttons are pretty good, not bad at all. It's kind of daylight out right now from where I am, so it's kind of hard for me to show you what it would look like, but when you do touch the remote, the backlit light does come on and it's a pretty cool feature. Even when you go ahead and touch one of the buttons, the light will come on. That's pretty good for at nighttime when you're watching something and maybe you'll, you'll have all your lights off and you grab your remote, the lights will come on your remote. That way you can see what buttons you are pressing. Now let's go ahead and check out that rocket ship button. Let's see what it does on the remote. Go ahead and press it one time. How to set up a shortcut. Press and hold the shortcut button for five seconds. Hold down on the rocket ship button for five seconds. And here it comes up. You have channel, the Roku channel, live TV, Bob's caption, and last voice command. That's pretty cool. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and just click on the OK button and the Roku channel will come right up or live TV guide, but you already have a guide button, so I wouldn't go ahead and recommend putting live TV guide. Roku channel, yeah, you could go ahead and do that. And I'm sure you could go ahead and create some more as you play around with your device. If you like what you're seeing so far, click on that like and subscribe button, ring that bell. This way you know when I do put up some more videos. Also in my description down below, I have a couple of different links in there for different devices. I'll have this remote in there also so that way you could click on it no extra cost to you small commission to the channel and it does help out to bring some more videos i really do appreciate it hey roku find my remote so that option works out pretty good on find my remote makes a nice high pitch sound so this way you have time to look for it. it gives you one minute to go ahead and find it not a bad feature at all so all in all this is a really good remote i happen to like it i like the backlit buttons that's pretty good because a lot of times if i'm watching a horror movie i like to keep all the lights off and now this way here i could go ahead and find my remote pretty fast and easy i like the way you could go ahead and ask it to find your remote ask roku what time it is and all. Now, some features that I was asking it did not work on the Premiere. I'm sure with maybe the device you have, like maybe the Ultra, it will work. But I noticed on this one right now on the Premiere, it did not work. Gotta keep looking into it and see why or which one do I have to use. I do have the Ultra. So I'm gonna test it on there. 
and hopefully it does give me some of the other features. But all in all, with the guide button, I like that. It brings it right up. I can tell it what channel to go on. It's really good. And then the other shortcut buttons are pretty nice also to have. So that's it for this video. Leave your comments down below. Let me know. Hey, I like the remote. Or I'm just going to stay with the one I have. Remember to click on that like, subscribe, and ring that bell. This way you know, like I say, when I put up some more videos. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.